um, Jonas versus Hale Meyer. It was a a close fight, I believe. Um, yes. may, maybe some controversy towards it. Maybe not. I'm not too sure. I've seen various different opinions on on um, mm -hmm. on the various social medias. So, Josh, give us uh, your thoughts of last night's action and the decision. Yeah, I thought it was a very interesting fight on paper. I was looking forward to it coming into the contest. And Michaela Mayer was getting a chance at a 147-pound title. I've always been a pretty solid fan of Natasha Jonas, just uh, the way she is and carries herself there in the sport. Uh, she's just very likable, and that's not that any of the other ones aren't. But that being said, I thought it was an interesting contest. And given the age of Jonas, who I believe is 39 now, you had to wonder if she ended up losing this fight, would this be her last fight? And I know after the contest, she just did note that this would be her last year. So going into it, I thought that Michaela Mayer would press the action, which she did. And she was very aggressive in the contest. I thought in some of those earlier rounds, it was pretty much back and forth. And it was Michaela Mayer pressing. And then a lot of the cleaner punching, especially off counters, were at the hands of Natasha Jonas, or she was the one landing those. And I thought that was a story of the fight and probably what ultimately had the judges make the choice that they made. Clean punching or at least more effective clean punching versus the aggressive and sometimes clean punching from Michaela Mayer. But that being said, it wasn't always pretty. Now with Natasha Jonas, when she sits down or she bites down, really uh, plants her feet, Hey, she can throw with the best of them, I think, in and around that division. And I think she showed that. So Natasha Jonas, her face had more of the wear and tear, but she was landing some good shots on Michaela Mayer as well. And I think a key thing in the contest was what uh, Timothy Bradley had pointed out, where Michaela Mayer at times was kind of just lunging forward, just kind of face first in some sense, because she was uh, intent on getting her punches, getting her offense off. <laughs> And you could say that's a double-edged sword in a sense because that did allow for some of those counters that Natasha Jonas had or was able to be effective with. Now, that being said, I thought that the latter portion of the fight, especially the last two rounds, I gave those to Michaela Mayer. So using fight night scores, I actually had a 96-94 on behalf of Michaela Mayer when the fight ended. I thought that she put in more work there in those last two championship rounds for, for the females there because it's 10 rounds. And I thought that is what gave her the edge in the contest. Though I did think, as I mentioned, the cleaner work was from uh, Natasha Jonas. Now, of course, we know that it ended up being a split decision with Natasha Jonas winning. I will say that I thought Michaela won it. I didn't think it was a robbery to the degree, degree that I've seen. I think it was kind of just a battle of what the judges had saw in some of those moments. But that being said, I did think that Michaela Mayer won the contest, at least on my scorecards. But a rematch, I think, would be in order. That would be a, a great fight to see again. And hopefully we get that. And that closes out the career for Natasha Jonas. And we'll see if Michaela Mayer can you know, up the ante this time around. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Alex, um, I think you might have had Mayer winning, did you? Uh, give us your thoughts on that one last night. Yeah, so watching the fight, uh, well, beforehand, I knew what it was going to be. Uh, you know, Jonas, more technical fighter, uh, Mayer, pressure fighter. That's what we saw in the fight, just like Josh summed up. You know, we saw a lot of clean punching from Jonas. And Mayer, she kept coming. It didn't matter if she was getting hit. She was coming forward. She was pressing the action. She was pushing Jonas to the ropes. Uh, you know, Jonas would, uh, you know, land something up top. She'd go to the body. Uh, Mayer, didn't matter. Come forward. Throw punches. Come forward. Throw punches. Uh, close competitive fight. Uh, I had it uh, added a draw. Um, but, you know, if you take a look around everywhere, most people feel that was a Micaiah Mayer, you know, seven three six four win. Uh, I think the only thing logical to do is to run it back. Uh, will they do it? I'm unsure because it seems uh, Jonas said this is her last year in boxing. Um, so what does that mean? Only she knows what she obviously has a plan. She knows what she wants to do. 
you know, is it a Terry Harper rematch? Is it something else? Who knows? Uh, we won't know until it gets announced. So I think Mayor, uh, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of her style. I, I think it's, you know, it's a little too much front foot heavy, you know, catching punches instead of slipping and, and rolling. However, you see what she can do. You know, being at these higher weights, it seems to fit her style more. Um, Jonas, 39 years old. I mean, for 39, she looked pretty good out there. So, uh, you know, that's why they should run it back. We, I think uh, boxing fans, uh, they, they want a more, you know, obvious result. And we didn't get that on, on Saturday with uh, the split decision win for Jonas. Yeah. Um, I've seen some different opinions. Like I think the majority seem to edge it towards Mayer or, and the ones that say it's, it's not really a robbery, but they could only see it being a draw at best for Jonas, really. So, yeah. It is what it is. Well, I say, you know, there's opportunity for the rematch. It's probably lucrative for both of them as well. Makes sense. It was a close enough fight. So, and I believe it was a good fight as well. Um, it was supposed to be entertaining. So if it was, if, if it ticks all of those boxes, yeah, bring it back. Let's get uh, more of a definitive winner on that one.